Hi everybody, this is uh, Mr. Green in the library, and today I'm doing a video on PortalPortal.com, one of my favorite bookmarking sites, and I've been using this for years, and uh, some of them I've had for years, and the great thing about Portal Portal as a bookmarking site, it'll organize all those websites, categorize them, and you have um, not only a member login, but you have a guest access, so your students can access all the websites that you have uh, put up for them and it's nice neat organized and it's a really simple way to jump into a lesson especially if it's a a website you want the students to use uh, specifically you can see from the uh, on the left hand side they have some of the the quick starts faq privacy in the center there you can sign up for free uh, again i have a bunch of these they do have a pay version of it which i haven't gone that far yet but that's definitely on my radar. So let's get started with uh, member login. And I created a portal portal called Library Hero. And then let me type in my password. Nice long one. And now I don't want to save this. So now here we are. As you can see, this is our portal, and all this stuff can be customized. But the neat thing about this is that you have all these sort of um, these categories and you can have the categories you can set it up where they're closed like this or you can set it up when you open up your portal they're already popped open so if I was doing something with the students I would send them to a specific category and say hey, okay what should I read next I want you to uh, find another book uh, and then I have uh, a bunch of different websites here and I use this for research all the time uh, the students who are I'm teaching them about citation, uh, I can place all my favorite citation uh, websites that I, that I use and I have used. And it's just a simple place for students to, to jump on and jump over and find that website that you want them to uh, be working on. And it, and it avoids a lot of that. Type in www. Da, 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 da. You know, you give a wrong extension, things are lost. So this bookmarking site, very well organized, quick to find stuff, uh, and it really is, um, really is great. Especially uh, surveys here. You have uh, different surveys that you can be working on. So let's just talk about some of the things. Quick link. If you want to add a, a link quick, you just click that, pick the category, and uh, it should uh, work for you quickly. There it goes, right over there. So, boom, boom, what should I read next? You want to put it there, the name, the URL. So that's a nice little feature. You can alphabetize all your uh, categories. You can add categories. All you do is click it, and you'll get another bar like one that's uh, showing on, on the screen. <laughs> Uploading files, it's a pay service uh, that's not part of the free. Uh, your logout, your advanced. I want to show you, you can actually clone these portals. and. You can, you know, give it a new name. Uh, you can test your links. You can export a portal. So that you can even, if you get tired of it, you can even delete it, get rid of it. Let's go over uh, tutorials. Tutorials, nice, easy to the point. Everything is laid out for you. It's all numbered. It goes through every single uh, button, every single little uh, tab, uh, and it gives you lots of uh, great information, great information uh, there. So that is the... Um, the help uh, feature. Delete a category. Say if you go in here and you want to delete one of these categories, say media literacy, we can delete that. And then, of course, your preferences, which is probably one of the more important things, where you can uh, set up your, um, you know, what do you want people to see when they log into your portal? Do you want your first name? Do you want Mr.? Uh, so, you know, you can set it, you can change your username, you can change your password, uh, you can change your email address. There's different things you can do. Again, you can color your, your change your color scheme, you can change your columns, let's make it three columns. Uh, let's see, your guest access, do we want to allow guest access or not allow it guest access? And then we have a greeting and then there's a few other things. Um, you can also change... Um, uh, allow switching between portals uh, that's up at the top here if you had a bunch of different portals on, on the uh, the home portal page you, you can toggle between them so there's a lot of different things but you always have to make sure that you change those user preferences now 
I'm going to log out of here. And let's just say you want your students to uh, use one of the citation uh, websites that you have on your portal. All they need to do is go into their, uh, give them the guest access, and usually the guest access is the uh, username. In this case, my username was Library Hero, and then of course they visit, and then there you go. Um, so that's my tutorial for today on Portal Portal, why I love it. I also uh, blogged a little bit about it, and um, it really is definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a great evening.